Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be discussing about Eubrancopus bundy, commonly known as the knobbed lip fairy shrimp. Throughout this video, I'll share my experience cultivating this species. To initiate the hatching process, I require specialized equipment as this species thrives in cold water. Most cold water species, including this one, require temperatures between 0 to 15 degrees Celsius for successful hatching and optimal growth. For this setup, I've installed a water chiller that can maintain temperatures between 7 to 15 degrees Celsius. Additionally, an insulated tank helps to preserve a cool environment. Before introducing the eggs to the tank, a crucial step involves freezing the soil containing them and allowing it to thaw. According to a research paper I recently studied, these eggs hatch beneath the ice, with the young fairy shrimp enclosed in a membrane developing until they hatch when the ice melts. Unlike many fairy shrimp species, these hatchlings emerge at a more advanced stage known as metanopolis. Metanopoli are a crucial phase in the life cycle of fairy shrimp. They're a more developed stage compared to the initial nuclei, which is where most fairy shrimps start after hatching from eggs. Cold water species like Eubrancopus tend to inhabit habitats that reliably fill with water each year. This consistent environment may have led these species to evolve a greater investment in their offspring. The characteristics of Metanopoli align with this adaptation, making them well suited to their specific ecological niche, especially in situations where the pool is not expected to dry up soon. The first hatch occurred after about three days from adding the thawed soil, more hatching occurred in the days following. They are orange to yellow in coloration, having jerk-like motion to swim around. Remarkably, this species exhibits an exceptionally slow growth rate a common trait within its genus, taking a noteworthy 18 plus days to reach maturity. As we observe their gradual development, I'll delve deeper into the unique characteristics of this particular fairy shrimp. Found primarily in Canada and various northern US states, these knobbed lip fairy shrimp thrive in ephemeral pools during the cooler seasons of the year. Based on my research findings, they typically inhabit undisturbed forests, with water in these environments being rich in organic decaying matter and maintaining a neutral to mildly acidic pH. However, they can adapt to other habitats with more basic conditions. Measuring between 10 to 18 millimeters in length, this fairy shrimp is very small. The fairy shrimp's coloration is variable, with a predominant transparent hue but also showcasing subtle tones of red, orange, and green. Like most fairy shrimps, these guys are filter feeders. They strain particles in the water column which include algae, bacteria, metazoans, and detritus. Once these fairy shrimps reach maturity, you will be able to distinguish males from females, as males have very prominent antennae. The male knobbed lip fairy shrimp will be in search of females using their large second antennae to grasp the female and begin copulation. This process can last a few seconds to a few minutes depending on how well the male is able to attach himself to the female. Once the female's eggs have been fertilized, they will begin to develop. A mature female can produce up to 250 eggs per clutch. However, during her lifetime she can produce several hundred eggs. The eggs will then be released by the females once developed, resting on the habitat floor. They will remain in a dormant state until the next season, or when habitat conditions are ideal again. Some sources say these eggs can be viable for decades. For the knobbed lip fairy shrimps, once the temperatures start to exceed to 15 Celsius, their populations begin to decline. This is because warm water holds less oxygen, and these species require higher oxygen levels. Additionally, there is an increase in predators within their habitats. This basically completes their life cycle until the next year. Now, as I mentioned, these fairy shrimp grow remarkably slow. Feel free to continue watching the rest of the video and witness their gradual growth. I genuinely enjoyed cultivating this species. They are exceptionally beautiful. If you'd like more content like this, kindly give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to drop a comment if you have any questions.